Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss one of my favorite blues bass lines, uh, the song Cross Cut Saw by Albert King from the Born Under a Bad Sign record, and uh, one of my all-time favorite bass players, Duck Dunn. Uh, you can read about him in my book, Bass Players to Know, um, but I'll tell you a little bit about him now. He was the bass player in the house band at Stax, a member of Booker T and the MGs, and uh, so we've played on records by Otis Redding, Sam and Dave, Albert King, lots of groovy stuff. And uh, he's what we think of when we think of Memphis soul music. Um, he also is a member of the Blues Brothers band. So if you've seen either the original movie or Blues Brothers 2000, he's the guy chilling in the back playing the bass. Um, but one of the cool things about his style is he is known for picking a pattern and really sticking to it. So uh, the pattern that I show you right now is something that you're just going to play throughout the entire song. Um, it's a great thing to know if you're going to play blues, if you're going to go to a jam, and um, it's just classic blues bass line and duck done awesomeness. So um, it's going to start off in the key of A flat. I'm going to find my fourth fret on my E string. And the pattern is going to be something that is just pretty simple. It's a triad with the addition of a sixth. So it's going to be one, three, five, six. Um, and one thing about this is if you use your four fret span, you'll play the first note with your second finger. Your first finger, fourth finger, first finger, and then you'll play this note again with your pinky. So I'll play the pattern for you, and then it does this throughout the whole 12 bar form. So on the one chord, you'll do the same thing, then you'll just move everything over to a string to get to your four chord, um, and I'll show you how that works. But uh, here, here, here we go. we just move everything over a string. And we'll go back to one, back here. And then here's our five chord. We're going to be up here on the E flat. Just play it once, then jump down to your four chord. And then back to the one chord. start the whole thing all over again. So this is a great way to practice Duck Dunn's style. You know, you pick a part and you stick to it and uh, it just supports the band in a really great way. Um, this is also something that if you play a blues rumba, this is something that is kind of a typical rumba bass line. So it's great to have this in your arsenal. And it's also a good stretching exercise just to make sure you're able to play with that four fret span. So I hope you dug this video, and if you want to get transcription for it, um, or tab, notation, check out my Patreon page or my Truefire channel. And um, also check out my book, Bass Players to Know. Thanks again!